as an organization, the key principles that guide our operation is the Catholic social teaching. And the Catholic social teaching basically um, looks at the human person, you know, as the center of our programming. And as an organization, in the course of implementing the 4 Gs project, uh, we focus on the human person, the total human person. We try to provide um, the um, services that we reach to uh, as the, the, the number of people we provide the services across the state. We focus on the human person, and that was one very good strategy we used that helped us as an organization. Now, generally, in the course of um, implementing the program, let me also, before I go ahead, go ahead and, and appreciate um, our lead activity manager. Uh, we had several lead activity managers in the course of implementing the project. First, it was uh, Dr. Uzoma Ene, and we sincerely want to thank her for her leadership and the guidance she provided. And then we also wanted to also thank um, um, Dr. Abutu, who was also a uh, project officer at some point. Uh, and then, of course, Abraham, um, William Abraham, who was also our, uh, our project officer, and of course all the operation chiefs for all the states we implemented, and we sincerely want to thank you. In absence, I also would like to thank Dr. So uh, Solomon Odafe. He was really instrumental to us as an organization, and he really provided a lot of support to us. And of course, Dr. Jerry uh, um, and, and the director, the deputy director. On SI. I just want to thank everyone that supported us to implement the program. Now, um, in the course of implementing the project, we we we, we learned a, a lot of lessons, a lot of lessons, and, and we think that as we position ourselves for the new grant, is something we really want to ensure that we can do differently. Number one, now it's important that when we are trying to um, implement strategies, it's important to adopt those strategies to the local situation. There were a, lot, a, a number of strategies that were introduced in the course of implementing the project, and some of them we took we implemented them the way they were introduced to us. And in the course of implementation, we discovered that we need to think about the local context in implementing the project. And that's one very big lesson we learned as an organization. And of course, um, we implemented in Delta State. Delta State is one of the, permit me to say, one of the most difficult terrain to implement in Nigeria, from the people to the terrain generally. And we also discovered that community ownership and participation in your programming is important. Because in, in programming in the creeks, we could not go to those locations ourselves. We had to depend on the locals in those communities, train them, and use, and use them to provide services. So involving the community is key in the success of every program implementation. And that was one thing that we learned. Um, when the SOIT program started, it was, a lot, it was a lot of pressure. Pressure to perform, pressure to report, and one of the things we also learned, while pressures may be good, sometimes it can also be bad. You know, and I remember in one of the review meetings we had with our, our staff, and a couple of our fewer staff were talking about how they have they have changed in the course of implementation. Health-wise, their system had changed and all that. And one of the things we also think we need to also adapt. And let me also start by also thanking Dr. Boyd. When she came, things changed a little bit. The pressure reduced, yet we're still performing. <laughs> and I really want to thank that for, for bringing that and ensuring that we have lots of respite in program implementation. And um, as we move forward, as we move forward, I think that in trying to ensure develop sustainability strategies, it's important that we look at what's the local context. Is it possible to achieve sustainability? Unfortunately, the NACA representative is not here. He started talking about that. But if we must succeed as a country, I also think that we need to face the issue of sustainability headlong. And we, as first as, as communities, as states and as IPs, there are strategies we need to begin to adopt to ensure that how long can we continue to be supported to implement this program? What can we do locally as a country to ensure that at the end of the day, the program we implement 
continue to be implemented by the government of Nigeria and, and, and other stakeholders. Finally, this is also for the government of Nigeria. In thinking sustainability, it's also important that we are a faith-based organization and we work with a lot of faith-based organizations that provided services with passion and compassion. And the quality of service delivery in those locations, I mean, cannot be compared with a lot of public facilities. And I think that in thinking sustainability, we also need to begin to think what can we do to support faith-based organizations differently from what we are currently doing. Finally, on behalf of the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, who are the founders of Caritas Nigeria, we would sincerely like to thank, starting from the US government, thank you for the grant, and for all our supporters, we sincerely want to say thank you, and to our staff and the thousands of beneficiaries and clients across the state, we also want to say thank you for the, for the collaboration.